Tonight on Philly Sports Spotlight, the 2013 NFL Draft has come and gone, so now what? We take a look back at Chip Kelly's first venture into the league selection process. Also, former Eagles fullback Leonard Weaver returns to the nest to retire in midnight green and white. And as the Phillies continue to fight their way back into division conversation, shortstop Jimmy Rollins gives us a tour of his crib. In the 2013 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Lane Johnson, tackle, Oklahoma. Do you notice they always boo the commissioner? Yeah, Commissioner Roger Guevara trumpeting the official start to the 2013 draft process for the Philadelphia Eagles. Good evening and welcome to Philly Sports Spotlight. I'm Phil Andrews and we will indeed spend the first part of tonight's show anyway talking about the draft and the newest Eagles. And we'll do so by taking a look at the overall number one pick uh, in the first round, the fourth pick overall, Oklahoma Sooners offensive tackle Lane Johnson, who, by the way, was uh, one of Ken Dunnick's picks on our pre-draft show last week. So big props to Ken. Now, in the video that you're watching, I know there's some circles on there. He's a uh, big number 68. And when I say big, 6'6", uh, 303 pounds. Hasn't missed many meals. But you should know this. He's a former high school quarterback converted to tight end, and also played some defensive line before finding a home at offensive tackle. Well, I think they like after the guys that can move. I mean, I don't know exactly what type of offense they're going to do, but I know they're at uh, Oregon, uh, very, ran a very fast-paced offense that was very similar to uh, Oklahoma, and uh, I think I fit uh, with what they need. I'm excited. I think uh, Coach Kelly brings a lot of energy and enthusiasm to, to the Eagles. I know uh, we're all anticipating what's going to happen, and so am I. I'm ready to get started, and uh, very fortunate to, uh, to be with the Eagles. Now, the Eagles' selection of uh, Lane Johnson at number four overall marked the highest time that the team has taken an offensive lineman, the Eagles, that is, uh, since selecting two-time Pro Bowler and Eagles Hall of Fame inductee Jerry Sizemore at number three overall in 1973. Of course, Lane Johnson was just one of uh, the first eight picks the Birds would make in this year's draft. Needless to say, it was a busy three-day period here in the Eagles' war room as the selection process moved into the second round. And true to the old adage, if at first you don't succeed, try again. You see, while in Oregon, Chip Kelly tried to recruit a high school kid by the name of Zach Ertz. But Ertz was pretty much committed to Stanford. And it was Ertz who played a huge part in Coach Kelly's last ever loss at Oregon when Stanford handed the Ducks their only defeat in 2012. Well, ironically, the bird snapped up the six foot five, two hundred fifty pound Ertz in the second round. Uh, I think me and Coach Kelly have a huge respect for one another, and I'm playing against him. Um, he always has a great team, so I think uh, it was a big day. And I think I don't know if it played a factor in the decision, but I think it might have been. Um, I just wanted to go to a team that was going to use me well, and I think on a team that I could help win a championship. And I think the Eagles is a perfect spot for me. And I think one of the tight ends I kind of I try and replicate my game after is Jason Wynn. Uh, just because I think he truly is a, a um, I think he's a very good run blocker as well as a pass catcher, and I think they use him in um, a variety of ways, and I think the Eagles will do the same with me. Then after selecting two offensive players in rounds one and two, the Birds went defense with pick number three, snapping up LSU defensive tackle Benny Logan. Uh, was uh, the Eagles? I mean, with them at the combine, it was like I'm on a uh, versatile. I could play the. Uh, the nose, a three technique, a one technique, or even a defensive end. So that's why I, that was interesting to me because I could play more than one position on the D line. Now, for the most part, the 2013 draft was somewhat uneventful, but leave it to the Eagles to spice things up in the third round when they traded a fourth and a seventh round pick to Jacksonville for the Jags' fourth round selection, which they then used to select USC quarterback Matt Barkley. I knew they had been interested in me uh, from from how their coaching staff expressed it in Indianapolis in the Combine and then with their visit out to USC for uh, for the workouts. And I knew uh, Chip Kelly had a respect for me. Uh, and it, it, went, it went both ways. I mean, after seeing he, he was able to turn around Oregon and, um, you know, I've been playing against him for the last couple of years. Uh, I, could, I could tell there was a mutual respect. So it doesn't come as a complete surprise 
Um, but it was a, a good wake up call this morning is the, the first pick of today. <laughs> I just can't wait to get get into mini camp and um, and you know to prove myself and to show you know that I do have a strong arm. I do am capable of playing in this league and playing strong and uh, just give me a shot and you know I can't wait to see what this what this leads. In the fifth round, the Bird selected safety Earl Wolf from NC State, who, despite growing up in North Carolina, has several ties to the area, as his mother was born and raised in North Philadelphia and attended the Philadelphia High School for Girls. Wolf's grandmother, uncles, and cousins still live here in Philly. In addition, Wolf's position coach at NC State, Mike Reed, was a former coach for the Birds from 2002 to 2006, where he helped coach the likes of Brian Dawkins, Sheldon Brown, and Leto Shepard. Um, honestly, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if, uh, you know, I, I didn't really know they would pick me up. You know, I, I knew they had uh, a couple problems with uh, safety, you know, but I, you know, I thought I can come in and help me to, you know, uh, basically help where I can. You know, if it's special teams, special teams, and just come in and, uh, you know, play in a row of safety, then I thought I can do that also. Now, the Birds actually finished up their 2013 process in the draft uh, with three seven-round picks. You see here, all big guys. Uh, uh, six foot six, 295-pound uh, defensive end Joe Kruger from Utah. Six foot, 195-pound Jordan Poyer, who last year was rated as one of the top defensive backs in the country. Very physical out of Oregon State, so Chip Kelly has seen his fair share of him. And rounding out of the selection process, David King. Oh, man, another big fella. Six four, 291 pounds defensive end from Oklahoma who joins his college teammate, Elaine Johnson, here on the Birds roster. Uh, by the way, the most talked about scenario, of course, heading into this draft was whether or not the Birds would trade their first round pick, which, of course, they did not. But that does bring us to this week's trivia question, which is how many times in their history have the Eagles traded away their first round pick? As usual, the answer coming up a little bit later on in the show. Also coming up, we hit the streets of Philadelphia to gauge the fans' reaction to the Eagles' first-round pick. That story after the break. 